All right, so this is streaming. Let's take a look offline, live. All right, let's give it a couple of seconds. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Let's see if there is any audio. Hi guys, audio, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Seven seconds. Let's see if somebody jumps in to tell me if the audio is working. Is anybody watching? Is anybody listening? Watching zero people. Did I make this thing private like I did the last time? Oh no, there is one person watching. Who is it? Is it mom? Mom? Is that you? Mom? Is that you watching? No, it's not private, it's public. All right, guys, um, I'm not sure if the audio is coming through. If it is, just say hi. Just let me know that the audio is coming through. I want to keep this tutorial quite uh, fast. Oh, this working. Hey, hi, Marvan, how are you? OK, so let's just jump into the uh, this very quick tutorial. It's super simple. It's actually, you know, I'm not even sure why I'm doing a tutorial of this. But some people have asked me how to achieve a sort of like dust look on tires. Now, uh, if this is the first time that you're watching my tutorials, you know that my philosophy is achieve more with less. <laughs> it's not the right way to do things, but you know, it gets the job done and uh, that's the goal. So basically the, uh, the look that we're shooting for is this one. We wanna have basically the look of this tire so you see a little bit dust around the, the rim. And the way to do this is actually very simple. I'll show you in a second. Now I'll keep an eye on the chat in case somebody feels like they have to comment or say something. Okay, so let's just jump right into it. Uh, what I did in, in uh, Cinema 4D, you have the possibility to stack materials in the object hierarchy up here. So if you create a base material, and you stack a material on top, you can give this material transparency and that material will basically allow the material below to show uh, just by giving an extra layering effect. So in this case, all I have to do is start with a base material for the tire, which I've already covered in one of my past tutorials. Um, you can just look for it, it's one of my latest tutorials. So now all we're going to do is create a material for the dust. Now I've already created it here. I'm going to delete it. So if I render this, allow it a couple of seconds. My computer is not the fastest. As you can see, probably I can even get a little bit closer with my camera. Because the thing is that I know that this is a uh, sort of like a cheat tutorial. But it does give me a very good result. And I was able to do close-ups of the Fiat 127 that you probably have seen on my B hands. Um, you know, no special tricks, just use the same technique. Okay, so we're uh, starting with this. And what we want to do, we want to create a material that we are going to layer on top of this rubber material to create this dust effect. Now, this is done by creating a new and we're using Corona, of course. Corona um, blah, 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 material. Of course, you can probably use a uh, layered material, I'm guessing, but maybe I'll do a tutorial for that on a separate, separate video. So in the diffuse, obviously, we're going to drop a, let's look for a ground texture, brown dirt. So this is the texture that I'm going to use, normal dirt. There we go. I do not want to save this. And then all I have to do is create a map for the opacity because basically if I'm going to put a map for the opacity here, 
I'm going to tell to this material where it's going to show. Let's do that, say load image. Now I use some granges. There they are. Now I can show you, there are some granges that I have which are like for metals, like this one. Now if I use something like this, what you'll see, you'll see that um, if I open this in a window and I maximize it, There we go. Let's see if this comes up. There we go. So you just get uh, little bits of this dirt to show. And in reality, this is not very realistic because you would have a layer which is, you know, where you have chunks of dirt and then you'll have another layer which has um, dust. Okay. And we can achieve that by creating the right transparency map. Now, I've done already the work for you. I can actually share this map if you like it. Let me know in the comments. The map that I've done, it's actually a simple Photoshop uh, texture, which I've called dirt. If I maximize it, you'll see it. It's basically, you know, just Photoshop brushes on a gray uh, scale, so black to white. And if I drop this as a transparency, and if I maximize this window, you'll see basically the effect that you get. There we go. So this looks a little bit more realistic. Now, the important thing is that you have to understand that for each single piece of um, dirt that we see, there is a correspondent displacement and bump. What does this mean? In other words, all that, all that this means is that we have to take this map and we have to copy it inside the bump and inside the displacement. There we go. Hi, Marco. So displacement, bump, we'll switch them all on. Now the displacement is set to be 10 centimeters. This is utterly unrealistic. If we do 0.1, that's more than enough. And the bump is set to be something like 10%, I would say 2% should be more than enough. Now, important is that we um, create a reflection layer because every material to certain uh, extents has a reflection. I'll just drop the same material that I used for the dirt inside the reflection. And I'm going to mix it with, I don't know, probably 30% white. The IOR I'm going to leave as it is. I don't really care about this value. I'm just going to lower the glossiness to something like 0.6%. If I were to maximize this, let's take a look and see how it looks. We're doing very good time-wise, 7.30. The tutorial is actually almost finished because it's really, really simple. Do, 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 do. waiting for the material to update. There we go. So we start to see a little bit of movement. I'm not sure if you guys can grasp it from uh, from the streaming. But yes, there is a little bit of like imperfection. The geometry is not regular. So I'm just gonna take this brand new material that I've created. In reality, I've already done one here, but that's okay. Drop it onto the tire. And I'm gonna say, I wanna have a mixed texture and I'll change this to cubic because, as you already know, I'm very lazy when it comes to this stuff. I'm going to take the cubic mapping and map it to something credible, more or less. There we go. Go back to my camera. Oh, my camera is a little... No, it's okay. It's fine. I render and then we'll, we can take a look and see how it looks. Give it a couple of seconds. There we go. Now you got your dirt on top of your tire. As far as I'm concerned, you know, unless you're going with a microscope onto the texture, uh, you can optimize the texture. Of course, you can take maybe um, pictures of like splatters and real dirt pictures to kind of drive the the black and white that dictates the transparency. But this is good enough. If I were to stand, say, 
one meter away from this tire. Uh, maybe I'll go this distance. And if you were to take a shot, uh, like in the pictures that I did for my Behance pro project, this will look more than realistic enough. Anyway, if you have a better way to do this, I'm still learning Corona. Corona is something that I started to use a couple of months ago. Uh, I'm still trying to come up with some creative ways to teach you a little bit of uh, the stuff that I learned whilst working at V-Ray. Um, there are some couple of projects that I would like to share with the community, but Corona is a you know fun twist, something that I wanna that I always wanted to learn. So you know, if you have better ways to do this kind of stuff. If you want to share your own uh, uh, opinion or way to do this kind of stuff, do it in the comments. I'm very happy to, to hear what, uh, uh, what you have to say because, you know, experience is all about, sorry, uh, knowledge is all about uh, sharing. All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching 10 minutes. That was super fast, actually. I'm very proud of myself. If you like this tutorial, give it a thumbs up. Share it if you think it's, uh, it can be useful for others. And hopefully I will see you next week. I want to do one more video before leaving to go to Vienna for the D2 conference. Um, I'll try to do my best to put this video online next week, but I cannot promise. Uh, I'm a little busy right now. All right. I'll talk to you later. Bye.